guys, so I'm here in Paris, Ontario, and I'm just gonna go and find a nice cafe, sit down, do some writing, do some reading, um, might walk around town a bit, it's absolutely gorgeous, and so yeah, that's gonna be my day. Sexy socks and sandals as always. book I've written about 24,000 words which I'm quite proud of like that's kind of the farthest I've ever gotten in several attempts to write a novel um, the average novel is what 70,000 to 100,000 words so getting close to 25,000 feels good I mean technically I'm one-fifth or a quarter done of the book already which is just amazing yeah I get very motivated when I come to a slightly public place where I can kind of people watch and, you know, there's other people working around me on creative projects, like in the cafe. It's just, it's really good for me to get out and do some writing instead of always being at home in my basement. <laughs> funny because this little spot right here where I was just sitting doing some reading has <laughs> been a day spot for me several times with some not so good guys and with the best guy I've ever met. I'm not gonna lie, a little scared to get close to these guys. One time one of them bit my little sister when she was a kid sketchy little buggers. I feel like I just have to give this book a shout out. This book by Sally Bowman is literally amazing. It's about a young girl in Egypt in the 1920s. She's British, of course. And kind of her experience there as a colonizer a little bit and her involvement in um, the discovery of King Tut's tomb. It's like, this is a solid history book. So well researched, using real history, um, talking about Howard Carter, who discovered the tomb, etc. But also just like an awesome example of not dark academia, but a different aesthetic that I like to call Voyager academia, which combines like, I don't know, the idea of studying, the idea of delving into the classics, being fascinated with the classical world, the ancient world. But it's, it's not confined to an institution like the secret history or books like that are. In this book, it's it's more of a travel log, which I think is just amazing, combining study, academia, with traveling and actually seeing the world and being a part of it. It's my favorite thing. So, if you ever get the chance, Sally Bowman's The Visitors. Good read. I just can't get enough of this train bridge. It's absolutely awesome. <laughs> my boyfriend and I climbed to the top one time. We climbed, kind of scaled, scaled the hill over there climbed to the top, walked along it, got stuck on one of those little nooks right there, right as the train came by. 
It was a wildly romantic moment, to, to say the least. <laughs> it was the best. He was more scared than I was, though. I will say that. A little nervous and the whole bridge is shaking. Hopefully. Well, what am I doing?